here for a solo episode of the Junk Food Junkies. Um, I've got today uh, a sauce, another sauce review for you. This is a, a sauce, you know, you might remember we did the uh, mustard sauce before. Today we've got some Mexican sauce for you. Taco Bell, to be exact. Those fine purveyors of Mexican food. Uh, we've got, this is uh, Taco Bell's Home Originals Bold and Creamy Spicy Ranchero Sauce. As you can see up here on the, uh, the label, it says it's new. Um, we got it from Aldi. I did check upstairs. Uh, I did find out uh, some reviews for it that were from about a year ago. So, I guess it's not quite new. But, um, we're going to try this. Uh, there's three Taco Bell sauces, actually. Um, they had Spicy Ranchero, which I'm going to review here on the show today. They also have Spicy Chipotle and Spicy Jalapeno Sauce. Or Spicy Habanero. I think it was Spicy Jalapeno because the sauce was green. Anyway, uh, I picked this one because this, if you look at the, the color on there, it looks closest to the, uh, the sauce in their quesadillas, which I've always been a big fan of and always really, you know, wished that, that I could have that at home. Um, so... I'm going to see today if this, uh, if this will, will grant my wish of having the delicious Taco Bell quesadilla sauce at home, if that will make this a reality. So I've got, we've got three ways to do this here. Uh, we're running low on our chip supply right now, but I, I was able to wrangle up this, this, this little chip crumb. So I'm going to try it on a chip. Um, I'm going to try it on its own, and then I'm also going to try it on a, uh, a taco that I have here. All right, so first let's just let's just have a dab of it on our own. Let's just do it. Just taste that sauce by itself. It's pretty good. It's not. It's not quite the quesadilla sauce, I don't think. Um, like I said, I, I just checked just now and, and found out that it, it's not quite as new as I thought it was when we picked it up, but um. But I, did, I, I didn't read all the reviews, but I, I read a few pieces that were saying that they, um, they didn't feel it was that spicy. I, I disagree with those. I actually, I do taste some spice there, um, which is interesting because, you know, a lot of things will say they're spicy and won't be that spicy, but uh, this, is, this, is, this is pretty spicy. So Not pretty spicy, but you can taste some spice there. So, all right, we've had it on its own, which obviously is, is not the way you're supposed to eat sauces. So, try it with a chip. Big bunch of sauce on that chip there because it was it was pretty good. So it was pretty good on a chip. I'll probably, I mean, as much as I wish we could, we can't have tacos every night. I have a big jar of sauce. I mean, I guess I could just save this for taco night, but probably not going to do that because that was pretty good with this chip. I think it'd be great to just put a, a little bit of this in a little sauce cup and, and eat it with a chip. But now we're going to see, this is obviously, it's made, you know, it's, it's in a taco on the label, so it's supposed to be in a taco. We're going to see how it is in a taco. Let me get some of that. I'm not that good at folding tacos, so... I pretty much got, just got tortilla in that. I have another bite. Yep. I got the sauce in there. I think out of the three methods of trying this, put it on its own with a chip and with a taco. With a taco is the best one. So. If you're gonna have the Taco Bell's bold and creamy spicy ranchero sauce, um, you should probably have it on a taco, but it's okay to have it on the chips. Um, I'm David Smith for <laughs> Chow's Junk Food Junkies. <laughs> um, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, please stay tuned to watch more.